y'all? Are we doing good? Yeah. yeah! Good shit. I'm glad you guys came out. I'm glad I, got, I uh, decided to play the only song that white people can dance along to. Uh, I'm glad I opened with that. There's a reason for that. I know the audience here. I know the demographic. I love this place. It's phenomenal. We got a thousand amazing comedians today. We got 14, but I like to say a thousand because it seems like a way better show, right? It's like Lollapalooza if I say a thousand. Uh, so we are filming tonight, so don't fuck this up for anybody. Don't. Looking over here. <laughs> I pick someone. Oh, him? Okay. He's a fuck up. I... <laughs> oh my god. We have that in perpetuity. That is admissible in court. That you're a fuck up, sir. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> this is a crazy place and I love it. This is what happens in the Terminus Theater on a Friday night. Thank you all for coming out. This is going to be great. I love this. I love you guys. Uh, something else gayer than that. Uh, I don't know. Look at me. You get the idea. <laughs> I do have a fiance. I'm shocked too. I do have a fiance. It's great. I'm going to show you guys the best part about having a fiance though is that I can just do this and there's no fucking consequences. This, uh, this, uh, I wasn't going to fuck any of you before this. I'm not going to fuck any of you now. This, <laughs> this is the rest. I can do the whole set. Daisy Dukes. I can do. <laughs> <laughs> She's a personal trainer. She fucked up. She. Fun fact: She does not like this joke. She's not a fan. Uh, here's one for all you comics out there. If you're happy and you know it, tell me how. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work in front of a normal audience. It doesn't. <laughs> Everybody's like, please help him. Somebody do something. <laughs> I like one-liners, they're a lot of fun. <laughs> I, think, I think I finally hit uh, rock bottom with my insurance because I went to the world's shadiest doctor for a discount back surgery the other day. <laughs> yeah, don't. Uh, <laughs> anybody else here not have insurance? Give it up. <laughs> yeah, they don't give it up for that one. They don't. <laughs> Nobody's like, yeah, help. <laughs> Everybody just sits in silence, like, if I clap, I might hurt myself. I can't clap, man. I can't break my hand, I type a lot. Uh, it's great. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it was scary. It was scary. It looked like, uh, like an old dentist's office that got shut down because every time you went in for a root canal, your butt was sore when you left. It was... It was yeah, yeah. It was like a Civil War triage tent. They were just taking parts. <laughs> They had a hacksaw and whiskey. That's how they operated at this place. <laughs> I went in for a back surgery. The nurse comes in uh, to take my blood, and she's a thousand. Uh, it's not a joke. <laughs> it's just a fact. <laughs> she was uh, she was like the cynical type of immortal person too. Uh, she was she didn't care that I was there. Like she would have done the surgery without me. It was great. <laughs> yeah. She she went to draw my blood and she messed up drawing my blood and she covered herself in my blood and she covered me in my blood and we were just sitting there hoping that I don't have AIDS. <laughs> and she just says, Yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was great. Uh, and then eventually we got around to the surgery part of it uh, and the surgeon was three hours late. Uh, which is wake and bake late. <laughs> that is set a blong down to answer the phone late. That's so late. <laughs> yeah, that's too late for a surgeon. I thought they drunk that shit out of you in medical school. That's unacceptable. But we all, we all out here know that there are surgeons who just barely made it, right? Like, the diploma doesn't say how many years it took to get it. <laughs> My surgeon had to talk to his dean to graduate. <laughs> Yeah, they're out there. You probably have one. Statistically, one of you has one. <laughs> it's great. It's, it, did a, it was fun. <laughs> so, he's three hours late. So, as he's like getting in the building is when they're already sedating me. They, they're busy. They got other people to kill today. They got, <laughs> they got shit to do. I had three hours to just think to myself, well, I don't know what being paralyzed is going to be like, but I'm about to find out. Uh, <laughs> You get what you pay for, and I get a wheelchair. That's what <laughs> So I am I'm getting sedated as the surgeon walks in. I'm counting backwards from ten. And he walks in, and it's a white dude with dreadlocks. 
Yeah. He says, <laughs> I can still walk. Uh, it's a white dude with dreadlocks. He says, what's up, S.A.? And then I fell asleep. <laughs> The last thought I had was, well, I don't need to worry about what life will be like in a wheelchair, because I'm going to die. <laughs> It'll be great. And then he did a phenomenal job. He did. <laughs> My back feels better than it's felt in, like, four years. Vanilla Ice killed it. <laughs> Vanilla, he, Ice Ice Baby was the top of the charts in that surgery room. I guarantee it. It was as good as it gets. I, part of me wishes that he had fucked up the surgery so that I could have used that as my closing bit. But <laughs> that I could just walk off with a cane and be like, don't go to Downers Grove for surgeries. <laughs> everybody laughs, I get a wheelchair, everybody's happy. But no, now I have to close on this joke because he did too good of a job. Then he got Yay! sued by Freddie Mercury. <laughs> you can tell they're my family, you can tell. <laughs> Everybody else is like, he'd be funnier in a wheelchair. He really would. <laughs> He's got everything else going for him. He looks like a Hitler youth. Get him in a wheelchair. <laughs> Anyways, I'll close with this joke, and then we got some phenomenal comics for you guys. Uh, uh, my fiance and I, uh, we don't think we're going to have like a natural born kid. We think we're going to adopt. Uh, but we're going to adopt a kid with one arm. Because what's he going to do? Heroin? 